Hi guys, we're here at the Hardwick Trails and these trails are relatively new for Vermont. They're probably the raddest high school trails in the area. About eight miles of total riding, a good hour and a half of riding. And honestly, very underrated, lots of fun, lots of pumpy, flowy trails here that aren't just machine built. They're a very nice mix of hand built and machine built with the uh, idea of keeping momentum up and yeah, that's about all I'm gonna say. We're gonna go hit Squiggle first, which is the easiest trail, and then do a couple of the longer downhills here. All right, two bridges, two bridges, take three. After moving a bunch of trees off the trail. Whew. Pretty slippery. More so the dirt underneath than the leaves on top. Watch out. This has some pretty cool features on it though. Pump tracking stuff. And then the rock roll into the tight berm to the little fender. Okay, come on with me. All right, we're still on drop in the bucket, guys. The trail's not overly technical. It just has an interesting flow to it, like a good flow, though. Like, woo. Kind of scary with the leaves. Super tight. Oh. This is one of those trails that's just really physical to keep going fast on. So drop in a bucket goes to Wild West if you can see that. And uh, this is all told about one and a half miles of basically going down the hill. Yeah, there's some pedaling, but honestly, it's not too much. It's fun pedaling. So when people think of flow trail, I think they think of a really high speed machine built trail. Without ever thinking that there is quite a bit of natural man-made trail that can flow super nicely. In fact, sometimes it flows even better than machine built. I think this trail right here is one of the ones that really does that. It's really well built. It's not super fast, but the turns are super fun. Little pocket berms, trying to weave in and out of the trees, pumps. It's all really fun. In fact, all right, so we uh, are gonna go down Dave's drop now. Um, like I said, this is where we climbed up the first time. It's gonna go a lot faster and be more exciting to go down it. It is not the fastest downhill. It's a, the type of trail that's it's very hard to go fast on, but very easy to ride. Um, so we get the turns are just a little too tight, but in a very fun way. I usually find tight speed choking turns to be not fun, but this trail is rewarding to ride fast. Hi, Diane. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Getting slippery in the leaves.
Uh, where's it going? Where's it going? You have a pesky guide stone in your way. Just hop it. It's easier to hop it than it is to get your bike to go around it. Hardest trail to follow ever. Oh, look at this feet little turn. Woo. And then she turn. All right, we're headed on our way out. And uh, over and out makes a lot more sense whenever you're exiting on it. And hope you guys enjoyed this trail system and enjoyed the video of the trail system. And if you'd like to see more, just like and subscribe. There'll be bike content up until ski content. And because uh, riding season is getting close to being finished in Vermont, but we might have another three weeks to a month, depending on the weather. So, till next time. Thanks, guys.